Hey guys, World 24 here, continuing with our, or continuing with my series of the mystery boxes. As I mentioned in the other video, we're doing oop, from the vault, exile. This one took me the longest to get, but I have it now, and it is time to open it. Okay, so with exiled, we have some nice fancy artwork in here, and we got the three card preview in there and we have some nice things on the back like Sensei's Divining Top, I don't know, is worth like about 30 bucks um, Skull Clamp I believe is a nice amount I think Strip Mine is two and Lotus Petal of course is a very nice card so, oh and Balance Balance is nice as well, kind of I think it's a bit expensive too can't remember the exact prices of these, but let's go ahead and uh, slide out the box from the magnetic clasp. And I will remove this to get out the exiled list, where this tells you what was exiled and what it was banned from or no, what it was banned or restricted in. Everything in here has been restricted or banned in at least one type of tournament, but it's still legal in at least one. Which I believe they are legal in Commander, at least. Many of them are, I think. Alright. So here we go. I'm going to go ahead and uh, keep that up so I can tell you what it was originally printed from and what we might have or and what it is banned or um, restricted in. Let me just take off the piece of plastic there. We got a nice spin down with the From the Vault Exiled symbol on it. Now this is the first From the Vault to have Mythic Rare in it and of course Dragons was the only one to have rare as a symbol. And of course we have like a little peachy yellow color here. Nice contrast from the dragons. But I'm going to go ahead and uh, go left, right, center so they all fit nicely. Well, actually first let me begin with Necropotence which is from... it's originally printed in Ice Age and then the 5th edition Core. And in October 2007, it was restricted in Vintage. April 2001, it was banned and extended. And September 2004, it was banned in Legacy. So, I believe... This means you can only use one in Vintage. And I think it may also be applicable that you can use it in Commander. I want to say all of them you can use them in Commander or something, but... I can't know that for certain. You'll have to... Uh, Probably look up the rulings and band lists for some of these. Alright, so Necropotence. Skip your draw step. Cost three black. Whenever you discard a card, exile a card from your graveyard. Pay one life, exile the top card of your library face down. Put that card into your hand at the beginning of your next end step. Yep. So that... I'm really not quite sure the purpose of that. If you know what this card could be used for, it would be nice to know. Apparently it dominated during the um, 1996 and 1997 in Standard. And, yeah, I'll have to read that a little bit. Yep. Okay. Uh, I'll have to look at that later, but if you know exactly why it's um, banned in some sets, or what it could actually even be used for, please let me know. I'm curious what kind of deck that would fit into. Alright, now we have Goblin Lackey, which Goblin Lackey was banned and extended in 2003, and printed in Urza's Saga in 1998. And whenever it deals damage to a player, you may put a goblin permanent card from your hand onto the battlefield. And it's just one mana for 1-1. One, one. So, this would be good in the starting of the games if you've got like a high-powered 
goblin in your hands or something. So that would be great for like goblin commander decks. Or like a goblin I can't really say modern, I don't think, because Urza's not yeah, Urza isn't modern, so definitely be able to use it in something else, I think. Possibly like legacy. Alright, now we have Curd Ape, which was banned and extended in 1997, unbanned and extended in 2005, and was originally printed in Arabian Nights, Revised Edition Corset, and Ninth Edition Corset. Alright, Curd Ape gets plus one, plus two, as long as you control a forest. He's one red, so with one red mana and a green mana, if you played him first turn, you put down a forest the next turn, he's pretty much like a 2-3. Alright, next we have Trinisphere, which Trinisphere is from Darksteel, and was restricted in Vintage in 2005. As long as yeah, it costs three, as long as Trinisphere is untapped, each spell would cost less than three mana to cost to cast. Wait, hang on. Trinisphere, as long as Trinisphere is untapped, each spell that would cost less than three mana to cast costs three mana to cast. Okay, so anytime you, something that costs less than three when it's untapped, you pay three for anything that's like a one drop or anything. That's interesting. And then we have Strip Mine which was printed in Antiquities and 4th Edition Corset. It was restricted in Vintage and banned and extended in 1999 and banned in Legacy in 2004, where you add one to your mana pool, and then you tap and sacrifice and destroy target land, which is kind of interesting. All right. We're going to open the pack that has a balance now. We'll open the pack that starts out with Berserk later. Okay. Balance had like a long amount of text when it was first printed. I think they cleaned it up so it's a little easier to read and doesn't take too much time. One colorless, one white. Each player chooses the number of lands he or she controls equal to the Number of lands controlled by the player who controls the fewest, then sacrifices the rest. Players discard cards and sacrifice creatures the same way. So, pretty much, you choose a certain number, and, um, controlled by the player is the fewest, and, and everyone else sacrifices to that number. So it, like, balances the game and evens it, and you do that with creatures as well. And you discard cards from your hand as well. So, it's interesting and it's very powerful for its cost. And Balance was restricted in Vintage in 1995, restricted in Standard 1995, banned in Standard 1997, 1997 banned and extended, and then 2004 it was banned in Legacy. It was originally, it was printed in all core sets through 4th edition which was April 1995, so... Yeah, it looks like it had a great time in Extended Standard and uh, Vintage and Legacy. Now you can only, I believe, use just one in Vintage. Because it was originally what card printed in Alpha, which the Alpha one would be worth a lot. Of course, I believe Exile here came out before the um which you know, the box of from the vault exiled came out before um the Zendikar block so there is no Jace the Mind Sculptor in here and there's no Stoneforge Mystic which would would have been kind of nice getting like an alternate art foil of them because they were both like banned or I think they were both banned in um standard and ex I don't know that it won't been extended as far as no maybe maybe restricted. Wow, we got blue we got lore in here. All right, gifts ungiven. Three colorless, one blue. It's an instant. Sort your library for four cards with different names and reveal them. Target opponent chooses two of those cards. Put the chosen cards into your graveyard and the rest into your hand. That's kind of interesting. 
with what it can do. Um, Gifts Ungiven. It was restricted in vintage in 2007 and printed in Champions of Kamigawa. So, it's just restricted in vintage. You can use them in other tournaments that they are applicable in. Mystical Tutor, one blue, instant. Search your library for an instant or sorcery card and reveal that card. Shuffle your library, then put the card on top of it. Of course, this would be kind of interesting. But, um, Mystical Tutor was printed in Mirage and 6th edition corset. And restricted in vintage in 1999. Alright. Serendib Efreet. Two colorless, one blue. Flying at the beginning of your upkeep, it deals one damage to you. It's 3-4. Okay, that was banned and extended, and was originally printed in Arabian Nights and Revised Edition Corset. And then we have Tinker here. Two colorless, one blue. As an additional cost to cast Tinker, sacrifice an artifact. Search your library for an artifact card and put that card under the battlefield. Then shuffle for your library. So Tinker was printed in Urza's Legacy. And in 1999, restricted in Vintage. 2004, banned and extended. 2004, banned in Legacy. So... Now we've been through ten of the cards from this box. And now I will open the last pack here, which has Berserk in it. Berserk being printed in corsets through Unlimited Edition, Restricted Vintage in 1994, and Unrestricted Vintage in 2003. So it currently is not banned or restricted in any set. One green. Instant. Cast only before the combat damage step. Target creature gains trample and gets plus X plus zero until end of turn where X is its power. At the beginning of the end step, destroy the creature if it attacked this turn. Interesting. I don't know how to keep it from attacking unless you... Well, no, that's after the damage step, so that would be interesting. Or, actually, that would be very nice for blocking, come to think of it. Before the combat damage step doesn't have to be before yours. Alright, channel, which we have from Corsets through 4th edition, Restricted and Vintage, Banned and Vintage. Well, sorry, 1994 Restricted, 1995 Banned, 1997 Banned and Extended, and in 2000 Restricted and Vintage. So, very interesting. So I guess it was unbanned in vintage and just put back in restricted. Two green sorcery until end of turn. Any time you could activate a mana ability, you may pay one life. If you do, add one colorless to your mana pool. Ah, the card I really, really would like. Here, Lotus Petal. Sacrifice Lotus Petal. Add one mana of any color to your mana pool. It's no black lotus, but it's pretty nice. And it's just a petal, so you only get one mana when you sacrifice it. And, but it does cost zero. That's a very nice one. Uh, the other one I'm really, I was really hoping for to get here is the Sensei's Divining Top. Look at the top three cards of your... Oh, sorry. I didn't even look at the Lotus Petal. Um, Printed in Tempest and Restricted and Vintage, Banned and Extended in 1999. Alright, we have Sensei's Divining Top, Printed in Champions of Kamigawa, and Banned and Extended in 2008. Alright, cost one, and you can pay one to look at the top three cards of your library and put them back in any order. You tap to draw a card and put this card on top of its owner's library. So it's a way to ponder... And then draw. So it's it's essentially a ponder, but you will get it. But you can ponder every single turn. So that's a kind of nice card, and it's really shiny. I like the I like how this one was foiled. All right, and then we have Skull Clamp as the last one. Skull Clamp being sorry, um, 
printed in dark steel, banded in standard, and banded in mirrored and block constructed in 2004, and banded in legacy and banded in extended in, to, in 2004 as well. So it's banned in pretty much everything except vintage and, I guess, commander, but that's not really like a full sanctioned format. Equipped creature gets plus one, minus one. And when equip equipped creature is put into a graveyard, draw two cards, and you equip with one. So, very nice box set here from the From the Vault Exiled. Moving on. Oh, it's almost time to move on to the next one. Yep. Okay. So, with that, we'll go to the next video.